Okay, in the previous uh, lectures, we have discussed various uh, DC applications of uh, operational amplifier. The operational amplifier uh, not only processes the DC signals, it can process the AC signals also. There are some AC applications of operational amplifiers. So, we can implement uh, the AC amplifiers, we can have rectifiers, okay. so we have peak detectors, clipper clampers, logarithmic amplifiers, there are uh, several AC applications of operational amplifiers. First I will start with the inverting and non-inverting amplifier. Amp amp AC applications. First, I will discuss inverting AC amplifier. This is exactly uh, similar to the DC inverting amplifier except for that there will be an additional capacitors here, additional capacitor here. This is the circuit diagram of AC inverting amplifier. This is the output V0, input VI. This is capacitance, this is R1, this is RF. So, in order to derive the uh, expression for the gain of this AC amplifier, so we have to use uh, the S domain approach. Here, this capacitance will be having capacitive reactance. x c is given by 1 by omega c or 1 by 2 pi f c. So, in the s domain if you take this v naught becomes v naught of s, v i becomes v i of s, where s is equal to in fact sigma plus j omega and if you take the s plane, this is sigma axis, this is j omega axis and this is S plane, but for the sake of simplicity normally we will assume that sigma is equal to 0, so we will substitute S is equal to J omega. So, here this uh, V i of S is the Laplace transform of V i of T, we will call as V i of S. Similarly, output Laplace transform is V 0 of T is V0 of S. So, the gain as a function of S is given by output Laplace transform by input Laplace transform. If we derive the expression for this one, so we have the two assumption that the voltage at inverting and non-inverting are the same, this is 0 volts, so this is also 0 volts and here the current is 0, here the current is 0. So, if I assume that this is the current I, so the same I will flow through RF. So, at the input circuit what is the expression for I? This is VI, this is 0 divided by the impedance, this will be relaxed or now impedance Z. So, what is that impedance Z here? Z is equal to R1 plus 1 by J omega C. So, VI minus 0 divided by the impedance is 1 R1 plus 1 by SC, J omega is S. This is expression at the input side. From output side from this 0 volts to this output V0, current direction is this. So, what is the expression for the I? 0 minus V0 of S, this is also of course function of S, divided by RF. So, what is the gain A of S? is V0 of S divided by V i of S. So, 
so if we take v0 of s by va of s minus of rf this rf will go that side this minus sign divided by r1 plus 1 by sc or this is equal to minus rf if i take r1 as common in the denominator we will get an extra term 1 plus 1 by s r1 c this is the expression for the voltage gain of ac inverting amplifier now clearly this as or a j omega varies with frequency so you can plot as a function of the frequency how does this a of j w varies so in order to obtain this dc suppose if v a of s is dc then this you have to short circuit if you short circuit this capacitance then what will be equivalent circuit this is same as inverting amplifier whose gain is simply rf by r1 so it's about the uh, ac uh, inverting amplifier so here the gain varies with the frequency so depends upon the requirement you can design this ac operational amplifier then uh, non inverting ac amplifier Now inverting terminal will be grounded, input will be applied to the non-inverting terminal via capacitance, here this capacitance is extra, this is V i of t in terms of time domain or in frequency of this uh, s domain V i of s. And this will be in S domain 1 by SC. This is V0 of T in time domain or V0 of S in S domain. This is R1 RF. Here actually this has to block the DC. This will block the DC. Because for DC, F is equal to 0. So what happens to the inductive reactance 1 by 2 pi Fc, this is equal to infinity, means this will act as open circuit, this is OC means open circuit. So in order to block this DC, we have to connect one additional resistance here, then this is some R2. So what is the expression for the voltage gain A of S, which is defined as V0 of S by VI of S. So if I find out this voltage as say V1, so what is V1 of S voltage divider? VI of S is this voltage and you are taking the voltage across the resistor so into R2 divided by capacitor reactance plus R2, R2 plus 1 by SC. So if I know this V1 here, so the remaining circuitry is this is non-inverting amplifier, whose gain is 1 plus RF by R1. So therefore what is V0 of S is equal to V1 of S into V1 of S the input for this non-inverting amplifier whose gain is 1 plus Rf by R1 which we have derived in the earlier lectures. But what is V1 of S is V of S times this. This is equal to R2 by R2 plus 1 by Sc into 1 plus Rf by R1 times V of S. In place what is A of S the voltage gain is equal to V0 of S divided by V i of S. This is equal to the DC gain Rf by R1 plus 1 into additional term is R2 by R2 plus 
1 by SC. So this is the non-inverting AC amplifier. So in order to get uh, DC voltage gain, so you have to short circuit this capacitance. If I short circuit this capacitance, what will be the equivalent circuit? Minus plus this VI will be short circuited, there will be some resistance. This VI of S and here this will be same as this. This will be grounded. Because here there is no current zero, so the voltage drop across R2 is also zero, so you can neglect this. You can remove also this one. Now this is exactly the same as non-inverting DC amplifier, okay, whose gain is V0 of S by VI of S. This is of course independent of S. is equal to 1 plus Rf by R1. Okay. So, the next AC application is we can perform the integration using operational amplifier op amp integrator. This is the circuit diagram of op amp integrator. This is the input. This is VI of T in time domain or V i of s in s domain. This is V zero of t in time domain. V o of s in s domain. This is R. And this capacitance is C and uh, capacitive reactance is one by S C. Then how to find out the expression for the output? We are going to show that output is integration of the input. I can perform this either in the time domain or S domain. If I perform this uh, time domain analysis first, so here the current is 0, here current is 0, because this is at 0 volts, this is also at 0 volts. If I assume that this current is I, the entire current I will flow through this one also. Let the voltage across this capacitance is Vc of T in terms of time domain. So, what is the expression for the current through the capacitor I is equal to 1 by C integral V dt. Here the across this capacitor the voltage is Vc of T. Sometimes this may be written as this integral, you can written as uh, integral 0 to t Vc of tau d tau. Okay. You can write directly this Vc of t dt also. Then what is the relation between the V0 and uh, Vc? This V0 is here plus with respect to ground minus and this is plus minus. If we take from here to here, here to here, here to here, a loop, because this is also ground, this point is also ground. So, this plus 2 minus is Vc of t, so Vc of t is plus 2 minus, this is also plus 2 minus, plus V0 of t is equal to 0, implies V0 of t is equal to minus Vc of t.
if you take so first i'll perform the time domain analysis so in the time domain analysis we know that the current through the capacitor is i here and the voltage across the capacitor is vc of t so what is the expression for the uh, voltage across the capacitance 1 by c integral i of of course this also you can call as i of t okay i of t simply i r i of t times dt but what is the relation between v c of t and v 0 of t if you assume that this is v c of t is voltage across the capacitor with plus sign minus sign and v 0 of t is this with plus sign minus sign if you take the loop kvl v c of t is plus 2 minus and v 0 of t also plus 2 minus plus, plus v 0 of t is equal to 0 implies v 0 of t is equal to minus v c of t so therefore here if you substitute v 0 of t is equal to minus 1 by c integral i of t dt but from this loop what is i of t this is v i of t and this is 0 volts divided by r v i of t minus 0 by r if you substitute this expression uh, 2 in expression 1 you will get v 0 of t is equal to minus 1 by c integral i of t is v i of t divided by r into dt this is equal to v 0 of t is equal to minus 1 by r c integral of v i of t dt that is the output of this circuit is integration of the input signal so this will act as a op amp integrator so we can perform this integration by just simply using a resistor and capacitor also this also will access integrator this is v a of t r c this is v 0 of t so what is the advantage of using the operational amplifier to realize the integration so as we know that uh, this operational amplifier will provide high input impedance is one another is in addition to integration this also will provide some gain also this is 1 by r c is the the gain factor if i choose say c is equal to 1 microfarad and r is equal to 1 kilo ohm then what will 1 by r c is 1000 so this will provide a gain of 1000 also so this is the time domain analysis of this operational amplifier you can perform the s domain analysis also we can show that the output is v0 of t is equal to 1 by r c integral v a of t dt this is the circuit diagram this is v0 of s this is vi of s this is r of course 1 by sc so if we call this current as i of s all will mean s domain now this current is 0 this current is 0 this is 0 volts because this is also 0 volts this will also i of s now what is the expression for v0 of s in terms of v i of s so you can see that this i of s 
from the input side this is v i of s this is 0 volts so i of s is equal to v i of s by r whereas the output size this is 0 volt this is v 0 of s and we have the capacitive reactance in the feedback path so what is i of s if i take from this 0 volts to v 0 of s is equal to 0 minus v 0 of s divided by 1 by sc so if we equate this 1 and 2 we will get minus v 0 of s by 1 by sc is equal to v i of s by r implies what is v0 of s this will be if i take this sc to the other side it becomes denominator 1 by rc 1 by s times vi of s now we know that uh, in the laplace transform if laplace transform of x of t is equal to x of s there is a property that in laplace transform of integral of x of t dt is equal to 1 by s x of s or what is inverse laplace transform of 1 by s x of s is equal to integral of x of t dt so if you use this property here and if you take inverse laplace transform on both side so v0 of s the input time domain is v 0 of t is equal to 1 by r c of course minus sign is there here this minus sign minus 1 by r c the inverse laplace transform of this 1 by s this one is equal to integral of v i of t dt this is same as the previous time domain expression So this is actually in fact the ideal integrator but practically there will be some problem with uh, this type of integrator. So what happens is if I take from here the gain in s domain a of s is equal to v0 of s by vi of s is equal to minus 1 by s r c or this is equal to minus 1 by s is j omega and omega is 2 pi f j 2 pi f r c at low frequencies if the frequency is less if you decrease the frequency what happens to this gain gain will be increases thereby it may cause us the instability problem so if gain is increases there is a possibility that output uh, may drive into the saturation ok so this may cause instability problem to avoid this for the practical uh, integrator this is ideal integrator if you take the practical integrator here we are going to connect one more resistor say rf so by connecting this rf resistor we can avoid the problem of instability or uh, driving the output into the saturation okay. so this is about this uh, op amp integrator so we can also perform the differentiation operation also op amp differentiator
here also I can perform the time domain as well as age domain analysis. So, first I will perform the time domain analysis and the circuit diagram of this uh, differentiator is obtained. The circuit diagram of this uh, differentiator can be obtained by just uh, exchanging the R and C. Now, we have to connect the C here and R in the feedback path. Now, let us take the time domain analysis. So, everything you call as T. This is 1 by C. This is simply capacitance. This current is I of T. So, the current here is 0, current here is 0. This voltage is 0 volts because this is 0 volts. This is R. The same I of T will flow through this. So, in order to derive this again, we know that now uh, the voltage across the capacitor I will call as V C of T. This is plus sign minus sign. And V I of T is this is with respect to ground. This is plus minus. If you take from here to here, the K V L V I of T is minus to plus minus to plus this is plus to minus minus V C of T is equal to 0 implies V C of T is equal to V I of T. And what is the expression for the voltage across the capacitor V C of T which is also equal to V I of T is equal to 1 by C integral I of T dt. This I have used in the previous derivation also. But what is I of T? If we take this 0 volts to this V0 of T, this current is I of T and the resistance is R. I of T is equal to 0 minus V0 of T divided by R. This is equal to minus V0 of T by R. So, if we substitute this in the previous expression, we call this as 2 in 1. V i of t is equal to minus 1 by R c, this R integral V 0 of t dt. Now, we take differentiation on both sides. If we take d by dt of V i of t is equal to differentiation and integration will get cancelled. So, we will get simply minus 1 by R c times V 0 of t or what is V 0 of t minus R c times d by d t of V i of t. So, the output of this circuit is proportional to the differentiation of the input signal. So, this will act as a differentiator. So, we can uh, derive this in S domain also. So, I will derive uh, this V 0 of s in terms of V i of s and uh, we can see the problem with uh, this ideal uh, differentiator similar to the ideal uh, integrator. Then how to overcome that problem and how to uh, construct the practical differentiator. Now everything will be in s. V 0 of s V a of s and this becomes 1 by s c. This current is i of s. This is resistance r. This is 0 volts, 0 volts. This current is 0, this current is 0 this current is also I of S. So, if you consider this input uh, side, so what is I of S expression? V I of S 
minus 0 divided by 1 by SC and output side the same thing is equal to 0 minus V0 of S by R implies what is V0 of S V0 of S is equal to if we take this R to other side SC will comes to the numerator minus RC S times VI of S there is another property of Laplace transform if Laplace transform of x of t is x of s then the Laplace transform of differentiation of the x of t will becomes s into x of s minus x of 0 minus x of 0 minus is this is initial value before t is equal to 0 t 0 minus so if I take the inverse Laplace transform on both sides of this if x of 0 is 0 implies what is inverse Laplace transform of s into x of s is equal to d by dt of x of t so if you take inverse Laplace transform lt is Laplace transform on both sides v0 of t is equal to minus rc times this one because this initial value is vi of 0 as I have discussed in the last slide that vi is equal to vc so if I assume that initially this capacitor is uh, discharged initially discharged so that V0 of or Vc of 0 minus is equal to 0 this is also Vi of 0 minus so this Vi of 0 minus will be 0 so simply this S into Vi of S inverse Laplace transform becomes d by dt of Vi of t so the same expression that we have derived using time domain analysis now similar to this uh, integrator here also there is a problem with uh, frequencies so if I take this voltage gain of this one using this relation what is a of s from this relation is equal to v0 of s by vi of s this is equal to minus src this is equal to minus j 2 pi f r c if we take magnitude of a of s or a of j omega this will be is equal to this j magnitude is unity and minus sign becomes plus this is equal to 2 pi f r c now here as f increases in case of integrator if f decreases gain increases now as f increases the magnitude of gain increases thereby it may cause instability problem if the gain is uh, very large even this circuit may produce the oscillations this is one problem and another problem is here if we take the input impedance here we will call it impedance because capacitance is there z i this is nothing but between this input and ground so whatever the impedance is there this is the input impedance is 1 by s c this is equal to 1 by j omega c or 1 by j 2 pi f c if f is large means at high frequencies zi becomes low so low input impedance means it is more sensitive to the high frequency noise because for high frequency signals it, it offers low uh, input impedance means the circuit is sensitive to the high frequency noise 
CKT is the short form of the circuit. High frequency noise. These two are undesirable things. One side, if you increase the frequency, so the circuit may produce the oscillations. Other side, it is uh, sensitive to the high frequency noise. To avoid this, similar to this practical uh, integrator, here also we will use practical differentiator. Here we will connect one capacitance. is E1 and in addition to that here also we will connect one resistance. So that these two problems can be avoided. This is about this uh, practical differentiator. So the precision rectifier that we will discuss in the next lecture. Thank you.